I bring to you guys Thrust Arrow Mark II. He's lighter, faster, and more efficient than the original. On top of that, we're gonna have a little race over here with a legit two-wheel drive drag car. How well will Thrust Arrow do against it? Make sure you like and subscribe below because we're about to find out. Alrighty guys, so what makes this version of Thrust Arrow Mark II? Well, I'm about to tell you. Up first, we actually had the stock wing that provided downforce in the rear. Now, the unfortunate thing about that, when the thrust came out, it actually hit the wing, not only giving it a little bit more stability, but it didn't pan out because that was still holding it back. Hopefully making it still drive straight at speed without it influencing the thrust coming out of the EDF. So this EDF is officially ungoverned and we're gonna see it's true power today. Another thing that I did that's really gonna influence it to giddy up even more is that I did some weight reduction to it. And if you guys can see it all, well, coming to the rear, there's no more wheelie bar. I took the wheelie bar off. Now that's not the only thing that I took off to get rid of some weight. I took the rear motor mount out. If you were to run an electric motor directly to the drivetrain, took some bolts out as well, and just other things in general. And it did make a little bit of a difference. And a little bit for this guy goes a long way. Now the one downside to running Thrust Arrow is that he only has about 30 seconds total of runtime at full throttle. And then that's it, there's nothing else left. So we have our DC charger over here and it's being powered by an Innovation RC battery via DC. All right, so that guy is charging and when we are done running this battery, we're gonna do a swap charge that one, put that one in fully charged, maximum thrust. Now, if you guys want any of these beautiful Innovation RC Edition batteries, not only can you use them via DC charging purposes, but you could obviously run them in much larger vehicles. Make sure you hit up the link below and it will take you right to the website to buy them. Be sure to do that. And if you guys are keen to see more of this, make sure you hit up Innovation RC on Instagram. There's gonna be more pictures, videos, and other inside looks with this guy here. Make sure you do that. And Thrust Arrow's competition is right over here. And we have Lenny driving it today, and he is a pretty solid driver over here. This is a Lozy 22S, and it is the two-wheel drive drag car that Horizon offers. It is beautiful, it's very well-rounded. Let's see what's in it. Looks like we have eight millimeter bullets. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of bullet for this kind of car, but you can never go wrong. QSA connector, CNHL 2S 7600. Yeah, yeah 7600 milliamp. And a beautiful Mamba Monster X8S ESC over there, pushing a lot of power to those rear wheels. Now, what motor's in it? Uh, the Castle 6400. Oh, the 6400 drag motor. Oh, that's yep. perfect. Yep. Perfect, look at that. So we mapped out 132 feet, way down there. We have a little line, but what is actually going to catch it? I actually have my tripod here with an additional GoPro. So it's gonna be directly across from that line and it's gonna capture who's gonna win. So pretty simple, pretty easy, and why not? All right, so here we go, guys. We're all lined up. Lenny is ready to go. He's gonna do a burnout and prep his tires. We unfortunately cannot because we don't even need traction to the rear. Let me spool her up first. Ready? Oh no, I don't even know how that happens. Look at that, whole tire trunked. Well, I'm still gonna run this guy, as stupid as it sounds. We're out here now, I wanna run it. Um, but it's fortunate that we're not actually putting power down to these. I believe when it went off to the side, it probably scraped up on the asphalt and that's how it chunked out. Round two, and we have a blown tire. So uh, yeah, let's see how well this goes. I don't care that I lost. I'm happy it stayed on the road. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Nice, nice job. I'm just happy it stayed on the road. Wait a minute, did it just run better with the blown tire? <laughs> Before it went off road, unfortunately, but now we have a blown tire and it went straight all the way down. I don't get it. So I guess we'll try again. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, we took a rough hit on the first pull, but for some reason it's driving all right on the next pull and then the pull after that. So I guess we'll just keep going. Next round. Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Good 
gonna spool up. That was a great run, actually. Great run. The only thing that you'll beat me every single time at is braking. <laughs> I don't have brakes. Dude, I'm dead serious. It's going straighter than an arrow now. That is so funny, guys. Even with this blown tire, it's going much straighter. <laughs> Next round. All right. Three, two, one, go! Oh. Yep. Here we go, guys. This is a piece of the trunk tire already done. That tire is definitely done now. I don't think there's any other piece that fell off. Yeah, I am very surprised. This vehicle's so durable, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, now I'm just not gonna run it anymore because like 80% of the tire is gone. Uh, just look at that. So we are now out of commission. But vehicle still works and runs. I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn uh, surprised. All right, screw it guys. We're gonna run one more time because well, things are already broken. You might as well see what we're gonna do with like 10% tire left. Let's see how well he's gonna do. I'm gonna spool up. Lenny's all warm. Three, two, one, go! Not even gonna lie, that was still a pretty good run. That was so <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play the fire anymore. Although we did do that last video. I did do that last video though. If you guys want to see that, I'll have a uh, link right up there if you want to see me uh, play with the little battery fire. Well, I'm gonna call it there, guys. Look at that. There's like no more foam on the tire anymore. Uh, this road is just a bit rough when you're running a solid axle in the rear and let's say it kind of wants to shift around a little bit But as of now thrust arrow is out of commission at least until we get new tires But uh, that's that's the smallest issue I've really had to deal with as of now now if you guys want to see more make sure you follow innovation RC on Instagram We'll have more pictures videos and other cool things on there if you want to see more cool things just like this, definitely do that. Unfortunately, Thrust Arrow is now out of commission, but that's not going to stop us from continuing to make them better and better. Uh, only thing is there's a little bit of a crosswind and that made the vehicle go off road. It's pretty lightweight to begin with, but that's not really going to help him stay stable. We need to work on stability. So until next time, guys, make sure you stay safe and have a good one.